Hi guys, um, in this tutorial I'm just going to show you a basic uh, s recursive sorting algorithm to sort an array of ints. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is uh, create an array of ints. And um, this tutorial will teach you a lot about loops and a little bit about recursion and um, a lot of ways to create uh, useful ways to sort things and I'm just gonna type in a bunch of random numbers because you know we want to sort them out that looks good alright and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and print all these numbers out uh, just to show you what they're unsorted uh, what they'll look like on the console screen I'm gonna create just a separate method for that This should be sort. And this will just be so I don't have to rewrite the print code again. Uh, now let's create the sorted numbers array. And we're going to set that equal to what is returned from our sort numbers method. And we're going to give it <coughs> the original array and a location to start sorting. And if you don't really understand what this location is, um, just put in zero. Uh, basically zero means it will sort the entire um, numbers. If you give it something like four, then it won't sort these, but it'll sort all the ones from here up. Okay. And it's going to give me an error until I actually return a value. Alright, the first thing we need to do is change this to location just to make it look a little bit better. Alright, the first thing we have to do is basically check to see if it's done sorting. So that'll be a simple check if location equals numbers to sort dot length. That means like if it has reached the end of the length of the numbers, we're going to return the entire array. Okay, that's just a little simple thing I'll probably return to later. Alright, now we should probably create an int just call it i. It'll be location plus one. Then we're going to use a while loop. So while this, and you can use a for loop, uh, I just like to use a while loop here. It's a little bit easier to understand. Um, so while this int i is less than the length of the array, we're going to get the number to compare. Oops. That'll be the i value of the numbers. And if you remembered, i was location plus one. Then the original number is going to be location. So uh, what we're basically doing is I, if we start at zero, I will be this number. It'll be compare num. And um, ridge num will be two because we got location and since we passed it zero. So now we're going to basically check these two with each other. So this is going to order it uh, from, I guess we'll just do greatest to least. So if compare num is less than original num. So if this is less than this, and this will, I guess, evaluate to false, but um, if it was true, say we change this to 5. So if compare num, which, oh wait, yeah. So if compare num was less than original num, 
Yeah, which is true. This this is comparing them. This is original. So three is less than five. Then we're going to want to switch the places of them because we want to do from least to greatest, which is I think what I said. Uh, you can just change a little bit of the code to go from greatest to least too. But uh, since we want to do least to greatest, we're just going to switch those. So array or uh, numbers to sort location equals compare num. Numbers to sort i equals original. And you see that is the opposite of what we did up here. So we're basically switching the two numbers. Then we're going to finish off that if statement. Uh, increment i. And then we're done that while statement. Then we need to increment location by using this plus plus syntax. And then we're going to have to call the method again. So that's where a little bit of recursion comes in. Sort numbers. We give it numbers to sort and location. And we're done. And in order for the uh, thing to not yell at me, uh, we have to actually add a return statement in here. It is ne never actually going to call this return statement, but just to satisfy the IDE. Let's go ahead and pr put the little print statement in there. gonna show that it works and then I'm gonna explain it to you guys and then let's just add a little read line which actually makes it so the console screen doesn't close automatically all right let me actually add a little uh, space in there so we can see where they're sorted Alright, notice that these are all crazy out of range, but then once um, we did it, they're all nicely sorted in complete order. So you've created your very own sorting thingamajig that sorts an array. And um, if you don't understand what it's actually doing, it's basically, it'll take this value and this value. If this value is less than this value, they switch it, then it goes on to the next one and compares those two and just compares them all the way and um, we're calling uh, the method within itself because we always have to increment the location that we give it so that's how it goes this 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 and that's the end of this tutorial on how to create a sorting algorithm to sort a an array of ints